Hello everyone, it's Jack Cotton, luxury real estate expert, author, and agent. And we're talking about a little series we began last time about doing six more transactions in the next, whatever, six months, six weeks, however you want to do it. Just doing six more deals. I just picked the number six because I just did. Anyway, let's talk about that a little bit more. Because as we adjust our goals, as we change our goals at the midpoint of the year here, I think it's a good idea to do some goal review. I mean, what we focus on becomes real, and that's the whole secret behind goal setting. As you can see this guy walking between these two tall buildings, what he's focused on is the tightrope in front of him. Too many of us focus on the ground, and that's what would become real for us, and that would not be good. So when we focus on our goals, what we focus on becomes real. So when we set our goals, they become real for us also. And the reason that works is because we have this filter in the back of our head I compare it to a spaghetti colander. We have all the stimuli, all the stuff happening out there in the world that all, we couldn't possibly deal with all of it. So it goes through the sentry filter and only those things that will, that are important to us get through the filter and into our brains. So we can actually change the holes in this colander. We can program this colander by asking right questions, by setting goals and doing affirmations and so forth and program the colander to let things through that will help us attain our goals. Pretty cool, isn't it? So um, one of the best ways to program that colander or your sensory filter is to ask some really great questions and change some new ones, change up to some new ones. For example, who is my best lead right now? Seller lead and buyer lead. Which buyer do I need help to close? And who can I call to help me close this buyer? Who do I need to contact today or tomorrow that could lead to a listing or sale referral? Um, which listing of mine needs a price reduction right now? Go through the list. Which one needs a price reduction right now. I mean, these are the kinds of questions you can ask yourself that will help program that sensory filter to allow things to come through that'll actually help you reach your goal. Who is my most motivated seller? Great questions. Think of your own, write them down, share them with me if you want. Uh, don't agree with those people who are saying, oh, the market's in turmoil, the market's in transition, the market's terrible, the market's this. Just have numbers that can that can, that can persuade people about the reality of the market you are experiencing right now. So know your own numbers, know the market numbers, and know your company numbers, so that when somebody asks you how the market is, you don't have to say something like, well, it's kind of slow, or there's a seller's market, or it's a buyer's market. Respond with numbers. Say something like, well, the pending to new listing ratio is the best it's been in several years, or several months, whatever. I was talking to an agent the other day from Connecticut, and I was blown away by how much she knew about the numbers of her company and in the marketplace. It's really cool. Use them in conversations because you will impress people. Speaking of impressing people, I want to impress you by coming to luxuryrealestateunplugged.com. It's the first Tuesday of every single month. It's live, it's unplugged. Your questions are answered on the fly. So log into the website, check it out, and join us on the first Tuesday of each month. Until then, make it a great week.